going to talk about today is using an old home stereo receiver power amp as a guitar amp head. It actually works probably better than you'd expect. There's some very simple ways to get started and I'm going to cover those and move on to maybe some more advanced tricks and tips that maybe you haven't thought of before. The power amp I'm using is an Onkyo TX8511. Uh, I actually got this from a neighbor's trash pile. He was upgrading his home theater system and threw this out in the garbage. And I said, that thing looks perfectly fine. I'm going to bring it home. Um, I got it hooked up through a homemade four eight inch speaker cabinet. This particular Onkyo has um, 200 watts of output power, four 50 watt outputs. There's an A right, A left, B right, and B left. And each output is capable of driving 50 watts. That could be uh, four individual speakers or four cabinets. I think it's plenty loud. The easiest way to connect your guitar to your home stereo is to get a cable. I got this from Radio Shack. I don't know if you can see the Radio Shack logo on that or not. Radio Shack. You need a quarter inch monophonic jack for your guitar and you need an RCA jack to go in the back of the stereo. I'm going to use the CD in port uh, not for any other particular reason than it's easier to remember I guess. Here's the CD in, there's my RCA. I'm gonna go into the top, right means, the white color means the left channel. And this quarter inch is gonna go into my guitar. Oh, plug it in, I need two hands, there we go. Okay, and as I strum this guitar, My guitar is plugged to my stereo. How about that? One thing though is um, I'm only using one half of the stereo, one side. I plugged into the, the white jack, which is the left hand side. So you'll notice if I uh, do the balance over to the right, there's no signal. If I do the balance back over to the left, I have a tone. That doesn't sound too bad, but let's say we want to use both sides. What can we do? To send your guitar signal to two channels, the left and the right, you need something called a Y adapter. In my case, I have a, a molded plastic one. The signal will go in one and come out the quarter inch things. You'll need a, a second quarter inch to RCA cable. You can see I got one cable into the CD left, another one to the CP input right, and I'll plug this into my guitar, the Y adapter, in the left, and to the right, okay, so now, Got a single going to the left side and to the right side. That is the simplest way to get your guitar connected to your home stereo. However, like most guitarists, you'll probably want to use some distortion or maybe some other effects. Uh, so the next logical step would be to connect your Y adapter into the output of an effects pedal. In this case, I have a uh, vintage tube overdrive at Behringer. Oh, that's very bright. There we go. And uh, so I've got my guitar plugged into my distortion pedal, and I've got the, the Y adapter with the cables plugged into both channels of my power amp. Let's hear how this sounds. Turn that on. 
Okay, going one step further, I'm not real fond of this um, Y adapter idea. Uh, the, the biggest problem is that these quarter inch to RCA cables, uh, you can't find ones longer than six feet unless you custom make them yourself. Another thing is these molded uh, connectors often go bad and you can't really fix them. You kind of just got to throw them away. So I got the idea. Why not use the quarter inch jack for the headphones as an input plug for my guitar? So what I did was I, I put a pliers in there and I broke off the, the little circuit board for the um, headphone jack. I broke it apart from the main board. I didn't break anything else. And then I took a soldering iron and soldered my own quarter inch, or I mean, not quarter inch, RCA connectors onto the headphone jack. And it's wired in stereo. I'll get to that later. But for right now, um, I've got basically a jumper wire between the headphone jack and my CD inputs. You see that? So now, when I want to plug my guitar into my stereo, I don't need a Y adapter. What I use is a cable with a mono jack on one side, that goes to my guitar. And then a stereo jack on the other side, I have the signal from the tip here going to both the tip and the ring of this cable. So all I have to do now is plug the stereo in into the head jack like a guitar amp turn it on make sure I'm on CD plug in my guitar <sighs> look at that go to the right got a signal on the right go to the left got a signal on the left The final thing I want to demonstrate is using the, the power amp as perhaps a, a, a two-channel guitar amplifier. You've, you've got two inputs, one to the left, one to the right-hand side. So with an AB switch, you could uh, run the left side as a clean channel. I've got uh, my balance to the left. i got my cleans coming from my, uh, my Roland uh, GP8 on the techno guitar patch. I have it going into the, the left channel. And when I want to switch to a dirty channel, which would be on the right hand side, I've got that connected to my vintage tube overdrive. So with an AB switch, you could switch between them without having to manually adjust the balance like I'm doing here or if you'd like you could balance the two Thank you. 